I've got five fresh carnivore air fryer recipes for you today, a couple of quick and easy standbys, and a couple of experiments that I've whipped up for us to try together. I'll also share with you the macro breakdown of each meal so you can get a better idea of the fats, the protein, and the calories. An air fryer is a must have for any carnivore kitchen, and I wanna take a moment to thank today's sponsor, Tasty Air Fryer. The Tasty has high quality construction and beautiful design, along with a super convenient built-in temperature probe that you can use to make sure that you're cooking your meat to the perfect temperature every single time. I also really like this built-in window in the drawer. There's also a light, let me show you. So you can check on your food cooking without having to open up the drawer. Also, the non-stick coating in the basket is PFOA, PFOS, and BPA-free. If you'd like to try out a Tasty Air Fryer for yourself, head to the link in the description, click on that, and then use code JENNY30 to get $30 off your own Tasty Air Fryer. And if you're watching this video within seven days of its release, you can enter to win a free Tasty Air Fryer. Here's what you need to do. First, like this video, and then head over to the comment section and leave a comment letting me know which of the recipes is your favorite or ask me a question about this video. One lucky winner will win themselves a tasty air fryer. I'm going to pick the winner randomly from the comment section on the eighth day after this video is released. So if you win, I'll get a hold of you from the comment section to get your contact info. Let's move into these recipes. I want to start with bone marrow. A lot of people don't know how to cook it and it's so easy to do in an air fryer. I got these bones from the local grocery store. They could be cut this way vertically, which is fine. You can also have them cut canoe style where they're cut lengthwise. That is super convenient. I'm going to put some salt onto the top of each piece and then load them into the air fryer. I can fit all of these into the Tasty. I'm going to set it to air fry mode at 370 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes, but I'm really going to be eyeballing these. The color starts to go from pink to brown, and because these bones are so tall, I'm going to cook these a bit longer. I think I ended up cooking them for 20 to 25 minutes. We are left with these beautiful brown chunks of delicious fat. If there's a little bit of pink left, that that is totally fine. This is an excellent way to increase the amount of fat in your carnivore diet. And I just eat this with a spoon, but you could make some kind of carnivore bread to put the marrow on or incorporate it into a recipe. As far as macros, one tablespoon of bone marrow has 104 calories along with 11.4 grams of fat and 0.4 grams of protein. For a macro split of 99% fat and duh, 1% protein. Next up is an experimental recipe I'm calling this crab cups. I wanted to experiment with a crab cake, so I figured using these little silicone cups would make them a fun shape. This is a brand new recipe, so let's see how it turned out. First up, I need to mix up the Cajun spice mix. If you are unable to use any of the following spices due to sensitivities, you can just omit them. We're using two tablespoons of smoked paprika, two tablespoons of garlic powder, two tablespoons of Italian seasoning, half a tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of black pepper, half a tablespoon spoon of onion powder, and then these last two are optional, a quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper and a quarter of a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Now let's mix up the crab. First, I'm going to crush up some pork rinds and then I opened up this can of crab and realized that I had gotten the wrong type of crab. So I had to run to the store and get this lump crab meat. That's what you want. You don't want just like the all white crab meat. You want the lump crab meat. So we're gonna do two cans of the lump crab meat followed by a squirt of Dijon mustard and some Worcestershire sauce, one egg and some lemon zest along with some lemon juice. I'm also adding one teaspoon of beef gelatin and a few teaspoons of the Cajun spice mix. And then I'm going to spoon this mixture into my silicone cups. I'm setting the Tasty to air fry mode at 370 degrees Fahrenheit for 13 minutes. Now, while those are cooking, let's make our remoulade sauce. To do that, we have to make some mayonnaise, and today I'm going to make tallow mayo. First, take one egg yolk with a teaspoon of mustard, a teaspoon of white vinegar, and a teaspoon of salt, and you're gonna mix that all together. This process goes a lot easier with an immersion blender. I discovered that when I tried to make bacon mayo last summer with my regular blender, and it didn't work, so that's actually why 
I purchased this immersion blender. Once that's all mixed up, you add in your liquid tallow. Now the liquid tallow, I microwave that to get it to be liquid, but you want it to be cooled off a little bit. You don't want it to be super hot. So then you just keep pouring in the tallow and mixing it, pouring in the tallow and mixing it. And then at the end, we're gonna add in the egg white from that egg that we used originally. I also added some more vinegar to taste. Now that we have our tallow mayo base, let's gather all the ingredients we need for the remoulade sauce. We will add in a teaspoon of the Cajun seasoning, a couple of squirts of hot sauce, about a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, a teaspoon of horseradish, and then mix that all up. And I ended up adding a little bit more of the Cajun seasoning and the hot sauce. And now let's pull together these crab cups. They cooked for about 12 minutes. They come out of the cups very easily. And then I squirted them with a little bit of lemon before topping them with the remoulade sauce. This will serve one to two people. Actually for me, I could eat all of these in one sitting, but one to two servings, total calories of 630, 25 grams of fat and 100 grams of protein. Macro split is 36% fat to 63% protein. This recipe turned out really well, but I would probably make a few modifications. I would probably cut the pork rinds, decrease the amount of Cajun seasoning that I added to the actual crab meat itself and I would increase the amount of lemon juice. I'd also probably add a tablespoon or two of the tallow mayo to the crab itself, but before I added in the Cajun seasoning to make the remoulade. Next up, we're going to make some chili cheese dogs. This is another one of my fun experiments. First off, we have to put together a chili spice mix. We have two and a half tablespoons of chili powder, one tablespoon of cumin, one tablespoon of smoked paprika, one tablespoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of onion powder, half a tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of pepper, and optional ingredient is half of a tablespoon of cayenne. Then I'm going to take a pound and a half of ground beef and add a few tablespoons of the spice mix directly into the beef and mix it up. Then I'm going to take some of the ground beef and lay it out flat into oval shapes along with a couple of circle shapes. Next, I'm going to use these all beef hot dogs. I really like this brand because there's not a bunch of added ingredients and they taste really good. I'm also going to shred up some white and yellow sharp cheddar. I'm going to sprinkle each of these burger patties with some cheese, except for one, because I'm keeping that one dairy free. I'm also going to sprinkle a tiny bit of the chili seasoning on top. And then I'm going to add a hot dog to the three large patties and some cut up hot dog to the little ones. Then I'm going to roll the ground beef around the hot dog. My vision here was to kind of make it like a corn dog Dog that would be, you know, covered with cornbread, but these dogs are covered with chili ground beef. And then the little ones are just gonna be little meatballs. And then this one, you know, has no dairy. So we'll be sure to keep that separate. Let's set the tasty air fryer to air fry mode at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 18 minutes. And then add our chili cheese dogs and meatballs. Now, while those are cooking, let's make some cheese sauce with a little bit of heavy cream, some of our chili seasoning, a little bit of garlic and onion powder, along with the remaining grated cheddar. I also shredded up some more more of the white cheddar to add in. The chili cheese dogs are ready to go. They did come apart a little bit, but let's taste them and see how they turned out. And they tasted excellent, but I think a better way to do this recipe would be to make burgers, maybe cut up all of the hot dog into little pieces and then mix that in with some cheese. The aesthetic of the chili cheese dog didn't really look great. I think you can see what it looks like and that isn't necessarily appetizing for a lot of people. So perhaps burger patties would be a better way to make this recipe. I do think that the meatballs turned out great and it wasn't weird to eat them. Each serving of the chili cheese dog with a full hot dog in it has 1,038 calories with 81 grams of fat and 52 grams of protein. The macro split is 77% fat to 22% protein. Next up is a super simple recipe, honestly not really a recipe at all, but I cook these in the Tasty Air Fryer all the time so I had to share it with you. These are Gardner's Baked Cheese and they are so amazing, zero carb, and make a quick and easy snack in under 10 minutes. Now these are my favorite flavors, the five-year cheddar, the original, and the bacon. So let's make the five year cheddar today. These are just so amazing in the air fryer. We're gonna set the tasty to 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 12 minutes. Then you just put the cheese in there and let it cook. You can check on the progress through this window and see if it's bubbling yet. And about halfway through, I like to flip it once. And then after the 10 minutes, it's ready. This one is looking a little bit crispy, a little bit overdone, but I do like it that way. So then I cut it with a pizza slicer. That's it folks, so easy to cook 
delicious melted cheese. I'm gonna put a link in the description to Gardner's so you can check them out. If you've been watching my channel, you know that I don't do a ton of dairy because it upsets my stomach, but I will eat one of these bricks probably once a month because they're so freaking delicious. So give them a shot, they're definitely worth it. And if you can include dairy in your version of carnivore, holy smokes, you're going to love these. One brick of the Gardner's baked cheese has 660 calories with 54 grams of fat and 42 grams of protein. The macro split is 74% fat to 26% protein. Our final recipe of today is another experiment, but it turned out to be my favorite recipe of this entire video, and that is carnivore white pizza. We're going to start by making the crust. Take a pound of ground chicken, some salt, some garlic powder, and a bit of Italian seasoning, and then add in some grated Parmesan and a little bit of pork rinds and one egg. We're going to mix this all together and then take a sheet of parchment paper and take half of that chicken mix and shape it into the general shape of the Tasty's tray. Then I'm going to carefully flip over the crust onto the Tasty tray. I'm going to heat the Tasty to 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes and then put the crust in. I'm just going to eyeball this, so I'm keeping an eye on it and I flipped it once. While the second crust was cooking, I put together the Alfredo sauce for our pizza. This is four tablespoons of butter, three quarters of a cup of heavy cream, along with some garlic powder, a little bit of salt, and some white pepper, and then about a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Cook this on low and then set it aside to thicken up. Now it's time to build our pizza. Let's start with some of that Alfredo sauce as our base, and then you can use whatever toppings you'd like, but today I'm going to be adding on some pepperoni, and yes, I know it's not white, but my husband really wanted the pepperoni, so we added it. Then a little layer of the mozzarella cheese, followed by a layer of shredded chicken breast, and a little little bit more Alfredo sauce, and then a lot more mozzarella cheese. I set the air fryer to 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 13 minutes, and then I added the pizza to the air fryer and just kept an eye on it. When it came out, I added a little bit more Alfredo, a little bit more cheese, and a sprinkling of the Italian herb seasoning, and it was ready to go. I cut this into four pieces, and it was absolutely delicious. I wouldn't change a thing about this recipe. This full pizza has 1,265 calories with 88 grams of fat, 108 grams of protein, and 11 grams of carbs. That's mostly coming from the dairy with a macro split of 62, 34, three. And this was a small pizza, honestly, but I was only able to eat three pieces because I was so full after those pieces. I, I think it was the chicken crust. It's just a lot of protein, but man, was it good. I'm always coming up with new recipes, so be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of them. Right here, I'm going to put a link to my very first carnivore air fryer recipe video. And right over here, I'm gonna put a link to my ground beef recipe video. And with that, I'll see you next time.